I got the equipment, man. I don't know. 
that God exists in your life. Amen. And what will man do to please God then? For a time will come he will divide the sheep from the goats. How would you ask of the Lord then? And you are in the wrong flock. For his judgment has been passed. And we should know what side we stand on by the ground we stand on. Amen. Take a look at what ground do you stand on? For the promises of God is always green grass under your feet. Amen. It never fades, never wither away. Amen. For we stand on the word of God. Yes. yes. you serve a God who is able to turn your enemies into your friends. For it is best for us to please God so that he can straighten out the crooked paths of the wickedness and keep hold of the righteous for his glory. So they can all see that the power of God is upon you. For when you please God, you will not serve no man. Amen. You will serve the living God. Amen. 
That's why it's so hard to serve one another. For when we do this, we look for the appraise upon one another. Well, we should be praising God. Now you shall see the goodness of God when you taste his righteousness. Thank you, Lord. We should know by the ground we stand on. Thank you, Father. When you stand on the promises of God, Thank you. you stand on his word. Amen. And his word will never faint, fade, or fail. Neither will it go away. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come before Thank you, Father. you yes, Jesus. in this moment of prayer that we ask a petition for those who has not yet come, that has not yet received yes, Jesus Christ as your Son, as our Savior in our lives. For it is his blood that he had poured out on the cross for the sacrifice that we cannot do for ourselves. Amen. He is holy. He is righteous. He walks upright in the ways of the Lord, seeking to do the Father's business, being obedient to every word the Scripture says about Him, pleasing God, obeying the Word of God. We shall follow behind Jesus Christ and the examples that He has set before us. And this prime example is how we ought to pray to our Father. Bear with me as you bear one another's burdens. And we give it to Jesus Christ. And let him bear this as he did before. And he gave us a cleansing. For he had washed away the sins of the world so let us wash away our tears and cast our fears at the feet of Jesus for our burdens are now his for he is the one that is able to bear the death on the cross death on the cross for that if we do this we will die but Jesus has the power to bring his life back in resurrection for God the Father has given him life everlasting and the gift to you is the same gift of everlasting life. When we are accepted, when we are purified, and we will glorify the name of the Lord. If you may, bow your heads, open your hearts, close every thought, Give yourself in full submission to the prayer that Jesus had asked us as he taught the disciples. This is how you ought to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we say, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to, to God. Thank you, Lord, Father. As we worship.
worship the Father, giving thanks unto his Son, Jesus Christ, for taking the sins off of us and giving us new life through Thank him. You, Lord. The salvation is to be found in Jesus. Amen. Today is the day to turn your lives over to Jesus Christ. Yes. And watch the promises of God unfold in your life as you magnify the name of the Lord. You humble yourself and he will lift you up. Amen. He will keep you when the enemy is trying to take you. Amen. He will stop every devourer and replenish your land. Thank you, Lord. So these things come in due season, and God is the one who gives our season. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone, Amen. for allowing this prayer to be heard and the opportunity from Pastor David, Pastor Lorena. Thank you. Thank you for encouraging me, for bringing me to this point, yes. and watching the growth that God has walked with me. Yes. He has Amen. ministered to me. Yes, he, he has used you, Pastor David, yes. Brother Deacon Moore, yes. and Pastor yes. Lorena, yes. Thank you. and Sister Ali, yes. Sister Donna, Sister Sylvia, Amen. Brother Amen. Roland, yes. Yes. Stephanie, Stephanie. Brother Marcelino, Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. and there are others Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Yes. that was here and still here in spirit <laughs> in the congregation. Okay. This is not, all right. Praise the Lord. Rest in paradise. Brother Deacon Jerry. Thank you. For he was here, and now Terry is here. Oh, amen. 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 So the vision Hallelujah. continues. Glory to God. His vision continues. God's vision continues. Thank you, Lord. And let us give praise to God for his vision continues in us. Thank you, Father. Call up amen. Pastor Lorena. Yeah. They're up under the chair. Oh. Welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. And praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. Yes, all the time. Hallelujah. And, um, how many love Brother James? Oh, hallelujah. So you got to be obedient. To the yes. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Because God will ask you to do some things, but when you respond to the Holy Spirit, how we know it gives glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And as Brother James was praying, we love our brother James because he's going through de different levels. Amen. I would say ranks. Right. When God when God took the people out of Egypt, when he delivered them out of the house of yes. bondage, and we all came out of that place. Yes. Is that he had a vision of raising up his people as an army. Yes. And there's another scripture in Exodus where he says ranks, yes. which means different levels. And we yes. see James getting raised up through different levels, just like all of us. God's taking Thank us you, through Lord. the process. Thank God. God is very proud of you, James, because you're an overcomer. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit told you to bless to bless you with one of my favorite watches. Amen. So I'm going to uh -oh. give you this Hallelujah. watch here. And it's coming from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We would have bought you one, but hey, you know, this is where we're at. Amen. Oh, Give them your watch. And it's anointed. <laughs> so this is for you, man. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. And the Lord. Woo! Let's celebrate the Lord. Pastor Lorena, come on. Hallelujah. Up. Thank you, Lord. And then praise the Lord, everyone. Come on. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His praise shall, shall continually be on our lips. Amen. Yes. God is doing a new thing. You know, he really encouraged me with this scripture, and I wanted to encourage everyone Thank here you. in the body of Christ. Amen. Some of us have children. Amen. Grandchildren, great-grandchildren, godchildren, even legacy children. God, God has put people over your life. Amen. To bless, to encourage. Amen. 
And so, you know, let's listen to what the word of God says about that. Because when we praise the Lord, he blesses our children. Amen. Amen. And I, I really bear witness with that, um, you know, the beautiful spirit that was behind that prayer. Amen. Thank is that you, Lord. When we bless the Lord. Amen. When we do the Lord's will, we can yes. love other people. Yes. Amen. So we're going to do it out of um, what God is giving to us. Amen. Because in the flesh, we can't do nothing. No, no, Amen. No, no. Everything has to be done. By the anointing and the presence of God. Amen. It's a stripe. It's a stripe. <laughs> Amen. You, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You talk about you're talking about the honorable things. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, um, so basically, that was another scripture. But he gave me two scriptures, amen. So I'm gonna give them to you. Let's go ahead and declare them together, and then I'm yes, just gonna break amen. it down real quick, amen. okay? So for the sake of time. Uh, a good name. A good name. Good name. Earned by honorable behavior. Earned by honorable behavior. Godly wisdom. Godly wisdom. Moral courage. Moral courage. And personal integrity. And personal integrity. Is more desirable. Is more desirable. Than great riches. Than great riches. And favor. And favor. Is better. Is better. Than silver. Than silver. And gold. And gold. Amen. Amen. A good name is better than riches and yes, gold. Yes. But how do we get that big name? Well, I, I that great good name. Excuse me. I love how the Amplified says that it's earned by honorable behavior. Thank amen. You, Lord. What is that? You know, and God gave me a picture. Amen. Of somebody that went to war, a soldier, amen, that went yes. and fought a battle, amen. Yes. He went and fought a battle not for money, right. not for uh, uh, anything, but to protect that nation that amen. he's fighting for, amen? amen. And when he comes back, amen, he gets that stripe of yes. honor, he yes. gets that badge of honor, amen. he gets that reward, yes. and that's his good name that he carries on for the rest of his life, Hallelujah. amen? Was yes. it was that good name, amen. amen. How many know that in the Lord we have a good name, Thank you, amen? Amen. amen? God has changed our name, amen. Yes. I don't know what we were called in the world, you know. I know, you know, we may have been called a lot of things, you may have been called, you know, um you know, not effective or, or, you know, a loser or whatever it is, or a drug addict or whatever yes, name yes. label the world has put you. But in the Lord, in Jesus Christ, that he took all the penalty on that cross, amen, on yes. that cross, hey, he bore it all, amen, Woo! he changed Glory your name, amen, and now when Thank the Father you, sees you, you he Jesus. calls you righteous, amen, yes. he calls yes. you the righteousness of Thank Jesus you, Christ, yes. amen. Yes. When he sees you, he no longer sees you, he sees the Son, Thank Jesus you, Christ, yes. amen, and Jesus Christ was innocent. Yes. He was perfect. Thank he was Lord. merciful. Amen. He is like a newborn babe without ever yes. sinning. Amen. Hallelujah. And perfect. And that's how the Father sees you with a new opportunity. It's Thank a brand Lord. new day. Amen. So I want to encourage you. I don't know what you've been through. Amen. But God knows. And he's giving you a new name. You're a new Thank person you, in Christ Jesus. A good name is better than riches and Thank gold. You. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will bless you in this life. Thank you, Lord. With riches, with gold, whatever yes. he blesses you with, but it's always to give it back to him. Amen. He's testing us to see if we're going to hold on to that for ourselves or if we're going to give it to him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, I, this scripture really encouraged me to pray over our children. Listen what it says. It says, praise be to the Lord, my rock. Who trains my hands for war. Amen. amen. My fingers for battle. How many know we're warriors? Yes. Amen. When you signed up amen, yes. into the kingdom of God, you became Thank enlisted you, in God's army. You are a warrior yes. for God. Amen. amen. Yeah. You know, we're going to go through things in this yes. life, whether you're in Christ or not. But in Christ, amen, we serve the mighty amen. general. Amen. amen. And he gives you victory every single time. Thank because you, the victory belongs to God. Thank and listen what he says. He says, he is my loving God. My fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I take refuge. He subdues people under me. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them? Mere mortals that you think of them. They are like a breath. Their days are like a fleeting shadow. 
Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Thank you, Father. Touch the mountains Thank so that God. they may smoke the presence of God. That's what it's talking about. Yes. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Yes. The enemy is afraid of your praise. Amen. Thank the you, enemy Lord. is afraid Amen. of the presence Amen. of God. Amen. When the presence of yes. God comes down, the yes. enemy and flees. Flee. Amen. Yes. In Jesus' name. Well, so it says Lord, right here, hallelujah. send forth your lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows Thank and you, rout Lord. them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver you, me and rescue me from many waters. Somebody needs deliverance today. Yes. Somebody needs you, protection Precious today God. from the hands of foreigners whose yes. mouths are full of lies. Who is it talking you, about? Lord. Those who don't believe in Christ. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. They're going to, you know, sometimes they come against you, but God said he will deliver you. Thank whose you, right hands are Thank deceitful. Jesus. I will sing a new song to you my you. god come on we gotta sing a new song to Thank the lord you, on a 10 string lyre i will make music to yes. you to the one Hallelujah. capital o who gives victory to kings Thank you, who lord. delivers his servant david from the deadly sword yes. deliver me who needs deliverance today Thank rescue you, me from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, yes, whose God. right hands are deceitful. Yes, you need God. to be Thank wise, you, amen? You need to have wisdom and discernment, yes. amen? You, because the enemy roams around like a roaring lion, yes. but God's giving you wisdom. Then our sons, praise the Lord, then our sons in their youth will be like a well-nurtured plant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And their daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a yes. palace. Design Hallelujah. Beautiful Hallelujah. daughters. Hallelujah. Our barns Hallelujah. will be filled. Amen. With every you, kind Father. of provision. You shall have no lack. Our sheep will increase by thousands, by ten thousands in Thank our fields. Our oxen will draw heavy loads. There will be no breaching of walls. Amen. The enemy will not be able to come into your territory. Amen. No going into captivity. Amen. God has set you free from Thank bondage. No cry of distress in our streets. Amen. Thank you. Praise Lord. the Lord because we made God our refuge. Blessed is the people whom this is true. Blessed is the people who God is the Lord. Thank Amen. You, Lord. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Amen. If you, our God is the Lord, if we're walking in step with the Lord, he will protect us. Amen. You, he will be our shield and our refuge. So with that, let's worship God today. Because when we worship God, he promises that he will do this for us. Amen. He amen. promises, amen, that he will come and he will protect us. Amen. I don't know Thank what you you're Father. going through today, but I just want to let you know you already have the victory. Thank you already you. have the victory. It's not... A day that you're going to get it, it's it's now. It's when you believe it in your mind. It Thank comes you, through in your heart, and you know that you got that victory in Christ Jesus. So let's go ahead and rise up if you're able to. Let's worship the Lord. We have song sheets right here if you need Thank them. Thank you, God. We'll go ahead and pass them out. James, if you could pass them out to anybody who needs them. Amen. So let's get ready to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. And then I, you know, I just want to thank God, amen, for what he's doing in the church. I want to thank God for our brother James and every single person here. I want to invite James up also to come and pray with us, um, to worship God with us. So anybody who needs a sheet, they're going to be right. Pastor David will take over that. I'm sorry. Sit down. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Here we go. You should have got it. Come on, brother James. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is fighting for us. We worship you, Lord. We thank you. Amen. Let's rise up to our feet if we're able to. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is fighting for us. God is on our side. He has overcome. Yes, he has overcome. We worship you, Lord. Thank you for what you've done, what you're about to do in this place, Lord God. We honor you, Father God. We set aside everything that hinders us from praising you right now, Lord God, and worship you, Lord God. Let our thoughts be established, Lord. Focus on you, we praise you, Lord.
God's turning it around for this church, amen. God's turning it around, hallelujah. Come on, let's exalt the Lord right now. God, let's give him, come on, a minute of praise. God, we worship you, Lord God. We exalt you, Father God. Father God, you just dropped in my spirit. You said, as far as you can see it, I will do it. As far as you can see it, I will do it. So we declare right now, Father God, that it is already done for your honor and glory, Father God. I speak to the city, Father God. I speak to this county, Father God. And I speak to God that you're turning it around, Father God, for this place, Father God. Father God, that you are rooting out the devil and his demons, Father God. That we are taking back this territory for you, Father God. Father God, I see all of California being saved in the name of Jesus. I see that you are moving, Father God. Southern California, Central, Father God. Uh, Father God, Northern California, Father God. That I see, Father God, your hand upon them, Lord God. What the enemy meant for evil, God. You are turning it around for the good, Father God. Lord God, we don't believe the enemy's report, Father God. They say that this is the worst state, Father. But we believe you're turning it around. Revival is here. Revival is now, Father God. And we thank you, Father, for what you're doing, Father God, in this place, Father God. We sanctify. We call upon the name of the Lord. And we say, California belongs to Jesus. Amen. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing, Lord God. As far as you can see it, the Lord says he will do it. He will do it. Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God. And not only California, Father, but the whole world, Father. The whole world. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. I'm going to call up Deacon um, Moore. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We're coming down low, Pastor. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. If it's all right, my pastors, I just want to open up a little something that I've been having this fan for several years. And uh, it was a scripture on it. I never really paid attention because I just got it to fan myself one summer day. Yes. And now um, I would like to share it with you guys. Sister, can you... Bring me the glasses right there, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pass on to Pastor David. Thank you. Oh. Just bear yeah. with me, people that's at home in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It is very touchable. Make yourself a better person. Make the world a better place. Scripture coming from Psalms 100. Serve the Lord with gladness. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us, not, and not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. Glory so in, in, in the announcement of that right there, it's good to see the beautiful faces, the little babies, Amen. and the grown-ups. Yes, we have trials and tribulations, Amen. but today is encouragement day. Today is a day of faith and hope. Amen. Today is a day of deliverance, yes. change, yes. prospering, sharing happiness, humility, goodness, Thank kindness Jesus. to strangers, to even the people we know, to the ones who's coming against us, to the ones who do not believe. Yes. God is going to turn around. Yes. God is going to turn around. Yes. For those that's watching at home, God is in the presence with you. He loves you. He wants you to recognize him this day. And, and ask him to come into your hearts. Yes. This is a very special day today for our church because great things is happening for baptism. Yes. Great things is coming in for the members of this yes. church. Amen. We can't see it now, but ask God to give you spiritual eyes yes. and you will see that. Thank and you will Jesus. receive the anointing of prosper, change, Amen. goodness, and strength because we can't get it by ourselves. Amen. Our family cannot share it. Amen. Our neighbors cannot borrow it. But God can give it through the word of our mouths. Amen. By the spirit of his spirit Amen. that lives in us. Yes. So make the world a better place. Make your neighbors a better neighbor. Make your household a better gathering. So we just wanted to put this in the hearts and the minds of the viewers and the hearts and the minds of the congregation through our pastors. 
Pray for them that God continue to give them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Strength and power and deliverance for whatever yes. they may be going through. Amen. Give them encouragement and hope Amen. to get up each and every weekday to come out here and bless us yes. in Bible studies yes, and serve in the community yes, and coming to embrace the love of us. Yes. That's a big job. And don't carry too much of a payment. But it carries love through giving from us. Yes. That yes. keeps them motivated. Keeps them willing. Yes. Keep them coming. Yes, Father God. Because how can the word be told or shared if a preacher don't come preach it? Yes. Amen? Amen? So today is a good day for me and Brother James. We're going to share some artwork at this little gathering out here in San Bernardino. Nice. And hopefully and prayfully people will pick it up and start yes. realizing that Christian artwork is a blessing. Christian sceneries of artwork is a blessing because you're in the presence of God. Yeah. And we just thank you all for letting us come into your house and we thank the congregation yes. for coming into the sanctuary. Yes. We need one another. Amen. Without you guys, there's no us. Yes. Without us, God don't have no one to serve him. Yeah. So we was created to serve him. Yes. And not only that, we was created to serve each other yes. and bring the brokenhearted people Amen. back to the will of God. Amen. So God, strengthen us this day, Lord. Give yes. us motivation, dear God. Take us forward in the ability, God, of your spirit. Guide us by your eyes, by your ears and your heart. Let us deliver you unto the people. Yes. Let us share the tears of folks and the laughter of pain that you will be recognized. Not us, God. As we decrease, you increase. So, God, I thank you for calling me and the rest of us out of darkness and giving us the opportunity to give your people wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the word of God, the fellowshipping. So, God, continue to touch us as well, God, when we get weary or we get tired. Empower us with a double dose of your Holy Ghost. And, God, touch the viewers too, God, if they're reaching out there now and praying to you at this moment, God, or hearing these revelation prayers, God, and the music and the praise and worship, stir up their hearts, dear Lord. Call them unto you, God. That they may surrender where they're at and, and ask you to come into their hearts, to live in their hearts and to change their minds and give them a new mind with a new revelation. God, touch the parents who got children who need to be following your word, God. Motivate them, God. Strengthen them to read. Strengthen them to pray to you, God. Fathers that have separated or lost or going through issues, strengthen them where they're at, God. If it's incarceration or if it's in pain or if it's in being lost, God, send your angels or messengers to them, God. Send your angels of warfare to protect them, God. God, give us the ability to see things in discernment to help each other through prayer, through fellowshipping, through having account for one another, God confessing one to another. So God, all these prayers and these requests, God, is coming unto your throne, coming unto your ears, you see and you hear all. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Turn it over to Pastor. Turn it over to Brother James. He will be bringing forth something special for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, thank you, guys. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. And let's... Thank you, Father. Let's come to an understanding. God is the one who provides all of our needs. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When God has opened up doors... And no man shut it. Thank you, Lord. And when someone in your life tries to close that door, oh, hallelujah. God will remove that person. Yeah. Out Amen. Of your life. Yeah. Amen. For the blessing of the Lord, He shows favor to those who are favored to Him. Thank you, Jesus. So we, when we remain faithful to the promises of God. Through the word of God. Thank you, Lord. We also understand when to give back to Thank the Lord. Thank you, mighty God. 
there's an offering that we ought to fill. Thank you, Jesus. For we shall also give back in obedience yes, Lord. to fulfill his word. To obtain trust, we must first trust in him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we have to believe that his promises will be revealed to us. Amen. There's so much more that the Lord can do in your life. Thank you, Jesus. When we step out of the way yes, God. and allow the Lord to step in for us, he will give us this breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. We are in the season where the Lord will make a way. Yes. Yes. I firmly believe this season is the time to bring what is the Lord, and that is you. You come forward to the Lord. Bring yourself, amen. And let him heal you. Thank you. Be obedient to his word. And watch how much more he will love you. Thank you, Jesus. For he loves each and every one of us individually, but as a family. Whole. For we are the many members of one yes, body thank you, Lord. in yes. Christ. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go forth, for the Lord has put something on my heart, Amen. and the word that he will fill my void. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. All the things that I lack, he already gave it to me. Amen. For all the things that I thought I could do on my own, he showed me that he is the way. Thank you, Jesus. When I was walking astray, he turned me around and he put me on solid ground. Hallelujah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. When I was losing in the world, I gained in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And now it is time to be obedient once again. Yes, sir. And the offering, not just finances, but to offer up your heart. Yes. Amen. Be sincere from the heart. Be willing from the heart. Thank you, Lord. Be cheerful from the heart. Yes. And understand, you are trusting God with your heart. Hallelujah. And how do we represent that? When the Lord places it upon you to make an offering. Thank you, Jesus. When the Lord places it upon you to make your tithe with him, to sow this seed with him. He's not talking about your money. He's talking about the love you have for him. Amen. How Amen. much do you really love the Lord? Tell the truth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. For these things of the world will fade away. Yes. But the Lord come and save souls. Thank you, Lord. So his word will never fade away. Hallelujah. That's why we stand on the promises of God. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Not the ways of the world. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My offering you, Lord. to the Lord is here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. But it came from within yes. in my heart. Lord Thank you, God. Jesus. For I know he has provided all my needs already. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. I believe in that. Thank you, Jesus. Help me remain faithful in him. Thank you, Lord. Help me maintain the, that love, Thank that you, much Lord. more love. Yes. As he pour out his love for us, Thank you, Lord. we should pour out our love for him. That's Thank right. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is time to bring forth your offering for the love he gave to you, returning to him. Thank you, Father. 
for he laid his life down for you. Thank you, Father. Will we lay our lives down for him? Thank you, Christ. I'm not talking about your physical life. Yes. I'm Amen. talking about will you turn your ways towards him? Amen. Yes. Will you give up this lifestyle for him? That's Amen. Right. Yes. Will you stop praising things of this world and start praising the Lord for his love? Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Because he will come and create all things new again. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Place your trust in God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Not in money. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. That's my offering. Hallelujah. My offering is to give up this world. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And let him create a new one. Thank you, Lord. A much better one. One that we will see beyond measures. Thank you, Father. Because he will multiply everything yes. when you give it to him. Thank yes. you, Jesus. As I do, please do the same. Amen, Thank Jesus. You can only walk in faith, but lead by example. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to call up. Pastor David, yes. For it is time for the man no. to give us God's word. Amen. Thank you. There's a mic somewhere. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. Yes, all the time. We serve a good, good Thank God. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How many brought their Bibles? Yes, Amen. yes, yes. How many are still reading their Bibles? Yes, yes. This is a weapon here. Amen. This is a sword. Amen. And we got to learn how to use our Amen. sword. We got to understand the sword is a weapon yes praise god i'm not going to be long because i know that uh there's an art gallery yes. going on today and also my daughter uh, she's getting water baptized today they're um at their church you know uh so i'm going to go support them today i mean so Amen. they're going to get water baptized and after they get baptized i'm going to pray for them Amen. So we're going to go ahead and have a service, but we'll have a fellowship next week. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, we're going to wrap up right after service. So I just want to be sensitive to everybody's time. But let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we give you all the glory. Yes. All the glory is yours. Yes, Lord. For every great thing and for every little thing. You get the glory. Even in our silence, Lord. You get the glory. And you get all the praise. I ask you, O oh God, to forgive us of all our sins. To wash us with your blood, O oh Jesus. And my prayer today is that we will get a taste of your anointing. I pray, God, that you would anoint me to speak this word. And that this word will minister to the congregation. That it would also minister to those who are watching on social media. We give you all the honor and the glory for your grace that you have given us to continue to minister. Your word. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God is good. Amen. God is faithful. Be encouraged. Amen. Be, in, be encouraged because God is going to turn it around for you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is in control. I'm going to believe that. Amen. I'm going to believe that God is good. Amen. Amen. God Amen. is good. And we just thank God for his faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. But what I'm going to talk about today is the anointing. Thank you. Amen. Everybody say anointing. Anointing. anointing.
when you read the Old Testament, the Old Testament talks about the anointing in the book of Exodus chapter 30. Yes. That God commanded Moses to create the anointing. Amen. And what the anointing was made of, it was made of five different spices. It was made of cane, cassia, sweet cinnamon, myrrh, and olive oil. Yes. You know, it's funny because me and my wife, we used to always talk and we'll say, you know, we're, you know, God brought us together as the anointing, as a recipe. That she's the sweet cinnamon yes, and I'm the myrrh. Yes, because the myrrh is a little bitter and she's a little sweet, and yes, together we just kind of co connect. Amen. Of <laughs> bitter hallelujah. sweet. Amen. Yes. And God, God knows what He's doing. Amen. Yes, yes, Pastor hallelujah. David's not bitter; he's sweet. Amen. But just a little inside joke. Amen. Because we have a uh, different personalities. Amen. Yes. Amen. But this here represents the anointing. Let me say anointing. But this is just one ingredient of the anointing. Yes. Because remember, there was five spices, and this yes. is just the olive oil. Yes. But this represents the anointing. But in the New Testament, they would use the olive oil symbolic to, to the anointing oil Amen. in the Old Testament. It's powerful. Amen. But what the oil was, when you study it, it was an ointment. Yes. So what ointments were used for, it was for healing. Amen? Amen. So the anointing oil is a healing ointment. When you receive the anointing, you get healed. Listen to this. Or you become a healer. Thank you, Jesus. When you have an anointing, God will use you to heal people. That's right. Amen. Amen. And it doesn't have to just be so so much physically. Yes. Sometimes it, God will use you to heal somebody's soul. That's right, amen. To heal somebody's mind. That's right, amen. To heal somebody's damaged emotions. Yes. Amen. amen. To heal somebody's broken spirit. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen? And also to heal somebody's physical body. Yes, hallelujah. Because God is able to heal. Yes. Amen. God revealed to Moses that he could give you a terminal disease yes. and completely heal you from that terminal disease. You, but Moses was having a conversation with God. God had Moses put his hand in his coat. Yes. He pulled it out. It was white as a leopard. That yes. was a terminal disease. Yes. He put it back in and his flesh was back Amen. to normal. Amen. Amen. So God has the power to heal. So everyone say, this is a healing ointment. This is a healing a ointment. A healing ointment. A matter of fact, in the New Testament, it talks about when somebody's sick, to, uh, to, to have the elders of the church anoint them with oil. Amen. And that they will be healed. Hallelujah. Amen. And if they confess their sins, God will forgive them of their sins. We got to remember the church is a place of grace. Thank you, Jesus. That means that when you come to the house of God, you will receive forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. There is no sin that is greater than God's grace. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. But we got to come with the right heart, like James was saying. Yes. God wants our heart. We got to come with the right heart, with uh, the right attitude confessing before the Thank lord your sins lord. and if you're struggling with something you can't shake off you got to ask god to help you yes. can I get an amen see god help me yes. deliver me and god knows yes. Yes, he does. and he will bring you into a process of deliverance because sometimes there's deliverance that happens immediately yes but sometimes there's a process of deliverance. Yes, amen. amen. Jesus had to touch the blind man twice yes. in order for him to see clearly. Amen. Yes. And sometimes we just need another touch from the Lord. Amen. Amen. But it is something I believe that every believer in Christian should desire. Amen. They should desire the anointing you, of God upon their life. Thank Can I get an Amen. amen. Did you know that God could anoint you? Yes. God could anoint you. You see, God just didn't anoint anybody. Yes. 
but whoever he anointed, they were chosen yes. by God. Amen. And the people that he anointed, he gave them supernatural power. power. Amen. It was nothing common. There was yes. something very uncommon upon a person who was anointed. Thank you, Lord. There is something authentic, something powerful. Yes, God. Amen. That God gave them superpower. He gave them an anointing to do things that were not normal. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. And I believe today God is having me share this word because He is calling us yes. to be anointed. Thank yes. you, Father. It's a call. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that's something I believe we should ask the Lord for. We should ask Thank him you, for the anointing. Amen. Jesus because Lord. when King David got anointed, this to this, the anointing transformed him. Yes. The anointing made King David into a new man. Amen. Not only that, but the anointing, listen to this, caused people to follow him. Thank you, Lord. The anointing brought favor in his life. What the anointing did for King David is that it gave him influence. Thank you, Lord. It gave him favor with the kingdom. Yes. It gave him favor with his life. Tell the truth. Yes. God turned it around for King David. No matter how far he was, he, he was at in his success, no matter what setback he had, yes. God turned it around for the good. Yes. No matter... Who came against him? What yes. leader? What king came yes. against him? God turned it around for his good. Amen. No matter how yes. overlooked he was, God turned it around for his good. Praise Amen. God. And yes. the anointing, listen to this, no matter how low he was, brought him all the way to the top. Thank you, Father. Can I get yes. an amen? Amen. amen? See, the anointing will make you... Great. Thank the anointing will make you into a warrior. Thank the you, anointing Lord. will give you favor with God and men. Amen. Hallelujah. And what the anointing is, listen to this, it sets you apart. Thank you, Lord. What the anointing represents is that you've been set apart for God. Thank you, Lord. So we can't get confused and think you're anointed for yourself. Yeah. You're not anointed for yourself just to have gifts right, and true. talents and amen and perform. You know, we're talking on yes. Fire Friday, amen. This is not a stage of performance. Yes, yes. This is an altar where we worship God yes. and we glorify God. And it's a place of sacrifice, meaning we lay our life down and we do what God wishes. Amen. Not amen. our will be done, but God's will be done. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. So the anointing sets you apart amen matter of fact in exodus chapter 30 you guys can read it when you get a chance is that moses commanded the priests that god commanded moses to command the priests is that with the anointing oil they were supposed to anoint the tabernacle amen, amen. they were so, supposed to anoint the sanctuary and they were supposed to anoint the instruments as a sign that they were set apart for god Amen. That they were holy and set apart for God. As a matter of fact, that word holy is talking about being sacred. It's set apart. Amen. Holy means to be set apart for God's purpose, but it also means to be holy, morally holy and right with God. Amen. Amen. But here, when the anointing oil came upon an object, it was set apart. Solely to be used for God. Amen. Amen. And then God told Moses to anoint the priest. Amen. And that the priests were going to be completely set apart Amen. Yes, for the service of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that God was going to take care of the priests, but the priests were holy and they were set apart for the sanctuary. They were set apart for the tabernacle. They were set apart yes. to serve God. Amen. Amen. How many people want to get anointed here? Amen. See, because when God anoints you, he will set you apart for his service. Amen. He will set Thank you God. apart.
for his work. Amen. When God anoints you, he gives you a purpose. When God anoints you, he gives you a mandate. When God anoints you, he'll give you a assignment. Amen. God could anoint you to raise up your children. Can I get an amen? God could put an anointing upon you that you could become a good model and a good pattern. Meaning this is that you will do great things for God that your children could also do great things. Can I get an amen? Amen. You will kill giants, amen, that your children could understand that that is the path that they're supposed to go on. Amen. That they're supposed to be giant killers, amen. They're supposed to be people that overcome. They're supposed to be strong people because whenever they look at their mommy or their daddy, amen, they see nothing but greatness. Amen. Can I get an amen? Yes, amen. See, God will anoint you. And when he anoints you, he'll transform you. Amen. The anointing will transform you. When King Saul got transformed, the Bible says that God moved upon a troop and a troop followed King Saul. Amen. See, people will follow you because of the anointing. Amen. Amen. Because of the anointing upon your life. Thank you, Father. And what the anointing was, it was a fragrance. It was a perfume. It wasn't just an oil. It was a perfume. So when somebody that, that just got anointed, it would change the atmosphere. Amen. It would bind the atmosphere. It would People would know somebody was anointed because you could smell the fragrance in the room. Can yes. I get an amen? amen? Exodus chapter 30, verse 31, the word of God says, And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, this shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout generations. <clears throat> it shall, listen to this, it shall not be poured on man's flesh, nor shall you make any other like it according to its composition. It is holy and it shall be holy to you. And this was the instruction that God gave Moses. Is that he was not to pour the oil on just anybody. Yes. He had to pour the oil on the people that were chosen by God to serve God. Amen. 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 He needed to pour the oil on only on the people that God told him to pour it on. Amen. Which were the priest and the king. Yes. The priest and the kings. When you read the book of Revelation chapter 1, the Bible says Jesus washed us with his own blood and he made us into kings and priests. Amen. Don't look at me strange when I'm, when, when I'm telling Amen. you the anointing is only for kings and priests because you need to know that you've been called to be a king and a priest. Amen. That means that God has given you dominion, but not just dominion, but he has given you responsibility. That he's given us duties to serve him in the sanctuary. And he's given us dominion to bind the enemy. Can I get an amen? He's given you dominion not to be afraid of the enemy, but to confront the enemy with the sword of God, with the word of God, that God is with you to give you the faith to know that you're not alone, but there's a troop following you, an angelic host, amen, legions of holy angels that are going to back you up because of the, the, the anointing that is upon your life. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. When you're really anointed, you will confront your giants. Yes. When you're really anointed, everybody will be scared of the giant, amen. And you look at that giant saying, what are you talking about? Don't you know that God is on my side? Yes. And today, your flesh is going to be fed by the beast of the land. Yes, amen. 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 You need to know that you will destroy Whatever's coming against amen. you, can I get an amen? amen. Yes, yes, amen. See here, God tells Moses, do not put the oil on the flesh. So let's understand what that means, amen? It, it was talking about that time is, in that time, was not to put the oil on anybody who wasn't chosen. 
But let's understand the word of God because there's different aspects. God will give us revelation. Amen. Amen. And I believe that it's talking about don't the oil cannot come upon our flesh, the yes. sin, sinful flesh, yes. the sinful nature. The only way we could be anointed, listen to this, is if we're walking in the spirit. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Is that we cannot put the oil on our carnal nature, yeah. our sinful nature. We need to walk in the spirit. Amen. amen. Romans chapter 8, the word of God says, so then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. When you read the book of Galatians, it, it, it talks about the attitude of the flesh. It talks about the nature of the flesh. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we got to understand if we want to be anointed, we can't be walking in the flesh. Yes. We got to be walking in the spirit. Yes. <clears throat> Romans... Chapter 8, verse 9, it says, But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, now if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. Right. And if Christ is in you, and, and that word Christ, listen to this, actually means anointed one mm -hmm. or rubbed oil. Amen. That Jesus was the anointed one. It says... <clears throat> that the anointing is in you. The body is dead because of sin. Amen. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Amen. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies. Thank you, Jesus. Through his spirit, that dwells in you. Amen. Amen. So we got to understand that it's the Holy Spirit that is working in us. It is Christ that is working in us. But in order for us to have that anointing, we got to die from the flesh. We got to understand that the flesh does not please God. So how are we anointed in the New Testament? We are anointed by the Holy Spirit. And it says it here in Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. How did Jesus Christ of Nazareth get anointed? He got anointed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ got anointed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says, and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. Amen. Amen. So who anointed Jesus Christ? God. God. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. He was anointed by the Holy. He was anointed by God. You guys are right. But through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit represents the ingredients. It represents the spices. It represents the oil. Amen. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4. Matter of fact, let me let me um, jump here to Genesis chapter 3 verse 14. It says, so the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above the livestock and all animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. I'm going to say dust. Yes. That word dust. Is talking about the flesh. Because I mean, when you die, the flesh turns into yeah. dust. So when God cursed the devil, he said, the only thing you're going to eat is dust. And we say flesh. flesh. Yeah. See, the only thing the devil could attack is the flesh. So God expects us to walk in the spirit. See the spirit. In the spirit. God expects us to walk in the spirit not in the flesh, because when you walk in the spirit, the enemy cannot attack you. The enemy cannot defeat you. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. Listen to what Ephesians chapter four, I'm almost done. It says here, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers and do not grieve the Holy Spirit or do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God 
by whom you were sealed for, for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another. Tender hearted, forgiving one another, even so as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. So here it's talking about don't let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. What is it talking about? It's talking about our attitude. Amen. Is that we need to have the right attitude because if not, we could grieve the Holy Spirit. If we're always just yapping, can I get an amen? If we're just always being negative, amen, that could grieve the Holy Spirit. We got to understand who the Holy Spirit is, is that the Holy Spirit is a very gentle person. When Jesus got water baptized, the Bible says the Holy Spirit came upon him like a dove. That there was like lightning, but then it was like a dove that came upon Jesus Christ. How many know that doves are very sensitive? Very. If you see a dove, right, and, you, and, and all of a sudden you slam the door... That dove's going to fly away, right? If you make noise, that dove is going to get shooken up and it's going to fly away. So it's, it's teaching us how the Holy Spirit is, is that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, it's like a dove that is on your shoulders. That we are to walk around understanding if we want to keep the Holy Spirit upon us, if we want to keep the anointing upon us, is that we cannot grieve the Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? amen. We got to be sensitive and understand that you're not just alone, but that the Holy Spirit is present in your life. And we're talking about the anointing today. Amen. amen. So it, it teaches us here in the book of Ephesians that we are to have the right attitude. And then it says here, being kind to one another Tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, it says here, on, on that day, the burden will be lifted from your shoulders and the yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because the yoke will be broken because your neck will be too large. You guys hear that? It says the yoke will be broken because your neck will be too large. And here what it was talking about, it was giving a description of an ox that was yoked up. And whenever they would yoke up oxes, they would put a thing on their neck that would lock them in. And they would usually have two oxes in there. Amen. And they would have them lock in. But sometimes the ox, the ox will be fed so much and the ox will become so big and strong at the, the neck of the ox will just break the yoke. Can I get an amen? amen. And then listen to what uh, the King James Version says of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So here it gives us two different views is that because of the anointing, the yoke will be broken. The bondage will be broken. Amen. And then because you will become so strong that the yoke will be broken. And Jesus was teaching us that whenever someone gets demon possessed or they're harassed by demons is that they attack you because you're weak. But whenever you have someone who is stronger, which is Jesus in you, when you have a stronger man, the stronger man could destroy the strong man. Amen. So that means that we need to become stronger in Christ. We need to grow in the word. We need to continue to grow in the things of God. We need to continue to come to the spiritual gym, which is the church, the gymnasium, and continue to grow and develop because God is going to make us stronger and that yoke is going to break. When you study that scripture in Isaiah, the people were in bondage. They were in bondage. Amen. They, the enemy came against them and he had 
and they had the people of God in bondage, but God was saying, I'm going to give you an anointing that's going to break off that bondage. Amen. I don't know what we're going through. I don't know what you guys are going through tonight, today. Amen. But I believe that God is going to break off whatever has you in bondage. Amen. Whatever addiction, whatever disappointment, whatever depression, whatever discouragement, whatever spirit, the anointing will break it off your life. Can I get an amen? Amen. Genesis chapter 4, listen to this. I'm going to finish with this. It says here, And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, or why are thy angry? Why are you so angry, Cain? Why, why do you have so much wrath? What's bothering you, Cain? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, that word well means to be happy, or to have the right attitude. Shall thou not be accepted? And if they and if they doest not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be the desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Amen. Here in the King James it says, and unto thee shall be his desire. But you are to rule over him. It's interesting that it says this only in the King James is that he was telling Cain, if you're not happy, if you don't have the good, a good attitude, if you do not do what is well, that sin lieth at the door and that unto thee shall be his desire. And it was talking about the devil. He was telling Cain, Cain, if you're operating in wrath, in anger, the devil will put his desires in you. When we operate in anger, when we operate with the bad attitude, amen, we open the door to the enemy. We open the door to the devil. Amen. That's what the Bible's saying here, amen. But it's interesting because when you read the book of Psalms, it talks about if you delight in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. That word delight is talking about having the right attitude, amen? When we have a good attitude, when we're rejoicing in the things of God, God will put his desires in you. So do you, now do you, do you guys see what I'm talking about? When we are operating in wrath, the devil could put his desires in you. But when we're operating in the spirit with a good attitude, God is able to put his desires in you. Amen. Amen. And again, we're talking about the anointing. Yeah. That God cannot anoint the flesh. Right. That God cannot anoint a bad attitude. Amen. We got to have the right attitude in order for God to take us to a higher altitude. Amen. If we continue to walk in the spirit, if we continue to walk in kindness, if we continue to walk in love, if we continue continue to grow in love and we continue to grow in the things of God and the word of God and forgiving one another and loving one another and doing what God has called us to do God will put his anointing upon your life can I get an amen, amen. God will give you his desires God will put favor in your life can I get an amen, amen. see I want to I want to encourage us today amen is it that, 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 you know, in this season, trust God. Trust God and believe God that God is going to fight your battles. Believe God that God that God is going to protect you. Believe that vengeance is of the Lord. Amen. That you're able to forgive your enemies. That you're able to love your enemies. Amen. That you're able to forgive those that are coming against you. And all you need to do is walk in the spirit. Amen. Because I believe that God is getting ready to release a fresh anointing upon your life. Amen. That you have a purpose from God. You have an assignment from God. And when God releases that anointing upon your life, that that anointing will transform you. That that anointing will change you. That that anointing will change the chemistry of your brain. That that anointing will change your environment. That that anointing will change your situation. Amen. That you will walk around with that healing power that you'll walk around with the power of God in your life. God desires to pour that power into your life, but we need to set an atmosphere for the Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? Yeah, thank, you, thank you, Father. I believe in this season, amen. God is going to release his anointing. And Pastor Lorena, if you could just put that worship song, fill me up. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, the only way we could receive the anointing is if we die to our flesh. And it's not talking about physically dying, but it's talking about dying to our will. If we could die to our will, if we could die to our burning desire, God will release his gift upon you. He will release his anointing upon you. Amen. With everybody standing. Jesus was in the place of Gethsemane. And he was getting ready to accomplish his purpose. And he cried out to the Father, not my will be done. Your will be done. What he was telling God was that he has a burning desire. But regardless of his burning desire, he was willing to do what the Father wished. He was willing to do what the Father loved. He was willing to trust God. And because he trusted the Father, the Father resurrected him and the Father exalted him above every name. See, this is a call to do God's will. And if we yield to God, God will release His Holy Spirit upon you. Oh, Father, not our will be done, your will be done. Just ask Him to fill you up. He's going to give you power for His purpose. Power, 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 power. Oh, Father, fill us up. Fill us up, Lord, with your anointing. Release your anointing upon your people. Release, release your anointing. Come on, he's about to anoint you. He's going to anoint you. He's going to anoint you. That anointing is going to bring prosperity into your life. That anointing is going to make you into a winner. That anointing is going to make you successful in the things of God. Come on, he's taking you to a higher level. A higher level, a higher level. He's, he's raising you up in the ranks. He's raising you up in the ranks. He's raising you up. You're God's chosen vessel. God has chosen you. That's what you're going through, what you're going through. Because a real anointing will cut things out of your life. A real anointing will remove darkness from your life. A real anointing will begin to set you free. Oh, fill us up, Lord. Fill us up with your anointing. Transform us. Transform us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Release your anointing. 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 Ask God to give you the right attitude. Ask God to give you the right attitude. Come on, He's getting ready to take you to a higher altitude. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. No eye has seen, no ear has heard of those things that God has prepared for those who love Him. Come on, God is calling you to walk with him in the spirit to walk in the spirit oh hallelujah he's calling you to be anointed he's calling you to be anointed oh father circumcise our flesh let us decrease that you can increase thank you Jesus release 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 your anointing 